I'm going to take you through the interest rates chart and um, this just does one pretty cool thing. Um, takes the current interest rate that we've set. Now you can go and set your current interest rate over in the maps page. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's at 3.2% platform default. Um, so you can go and change that to whatever you want in terms of new loans moving forward. Um, but if you jump across to the compass, the, the compass tab again, scroll down to the interest rates page um, and, and you can jump straight into the chart by making make to clicking this and making it quite bigger. Um, but it's just got three really critical lines here. The middle line is that current interest rate and what your payments will be based on that current interest rate. Now, um, the only thing to note is if it's going to take interest only or principal and interest. Um, and you can you can note that down when we're looking at our, our passive income target here um, or the, the annual spend, but the passive income target will actually tell you when we're rolling over to P&I and when we're not. Um, so you can do that by coming straight in here and just having a look about when that rollover is, just taking a, a quick sneak peek. And it's probably going to be when that, that dip is there in that, that time frame, but um, we'll jump in and have a look. Yeah, so we can see that the passive income rollover is going to be in 2041 here. So just note that we're going P&I from that point in time um, and our debt's going to be sort of at that maximum level there. Um, so three really critical lines. The first one is our current interest rate repayments on the current loan. Um, that obviously is going to come down as we're reducing debt and contributing savings towards interest. The line above is plus 2% interest rate. So at the peak of our debt, you know, we're making repayments of about 100K there. Um, if that was to increase by 2%, we're, we're nearly making 122K worth of repayments there, so quite high. Um, and then if we were to reduce it by negative 2%, where does that take us there? Um, so set paying $72,000 on 2% um, less interest rate. So really cool just to see what impact, you know, changes in interest rates might have. And this will help you sort of make that future purchase decision as well, rather than, you know, here, okay, well, we're paying 51 grand interest repayments. If it was to go up by 2%, we'd be looking at $83,000 worth of interest repayment. So it's a 30 grand difference. Um, and so you can really sort of paint that picture. If they were to come down, look, we'll be paying about 20 grand worth of interest repayments at that point in time. So really gives you a, a good gauge of, okay, well, worst case scenario, best case scenario, this is where we'd end up, this is where we'd end down. Um, and you can have a bit of a play around with that. So again, um, biggest thing that's gonna impact that is obviously the interest rate itself, and then obviously how much debt and if you're paying principal and interest at that point in time. But um, again, you can, you can come into the annual spends and change when you want to roll over to P&I. Um, just come down here and go, okay, well, if we want to roll to P&I today, we can click this one, scroll down to the bottom and go, yep, we're going to switch to P&I. And then from that point forward, it's going to say, okay, well, we're, we're paying P&I on all our loans from that point in time. And as you can see, all these numbers are, are much higher at that point in time too. So um, just really take note of if we're paying principal and interest, what the actual interest rate that we set is, and then how much total debt we've got there as well. Cool, so that's the, uh, the interest rates chart.